Hey, what's up guys? Turtlelax here, and this is another Lord of Dice Global video. Um, today I will be going over the Saite Cube event, which I'm super excited about. There were a lot of neat surprises that came with this update. Um, one of the big ones being Transcendence ability, uh, the ability to limit break or to bring your dicers level from 45 to 50. Um, I'm also excited about how we got these new raid avatars, Arthur and Philip. I was able to collect all three raid avatars from the past two weeks, um, Armeria, Clara, and Yuri. I, I managed to get all three be right before the event ended. Um, and so I'm very excited to get these next because I think I really like these avatars. They're pretty neat. Um, now, uh, Moving on to the new update, uh, we have the ability to transcend your dicers. Um, unlock your dicers full potential and transcend. Your dicers can now exceed level 45 through transcendence. They can now reach a max level of 50. Now, when this feature first came out, I was actually really anxious because I was like, okay, like first we nerfed the, the unlimited keys and now we're going to make it even harder to face off against you know the pay to win players but actually uh, the, the the way they did the transcendence is you don't actually need a third copy of a nat 5 dicer to transcend that dicer now you can actually uh, substitute that third copy with four um, six star dicers which is fantastic because it's not really any different from um, awakening your dicer to six stars so um, I really like that. And uh, Island Battle is a very surprising feature, but actually one of my favorites in this update. Um, I'll go more into that and I'll actually do some battles with uh, for you guys. Descent Dungeon, um, Doom Parrot is now available on Saturdays and Sundays. Defeat the mighty Doom Parrot and receive shards to summon Hyde. Alright, so, you know, obviously it's not Saturday or Sunday yet, so no one has had a chance to face off Doom Parrot but I will show footage of that as soon as it becomes available this Saturday. Finally, a new dicer, Orfiana, is now available. The Muse Orfiana, a legendary bard, is the newest dicer to join the five-star family. Now, um, in total, there are three new dicers that were introduced in this game. Um, one is Hyde, which um, you, you can farm memory shards for with the Doom Parrot Descent Dungeon that's available on Saturdays and Sundays. Now, Hyde is considered um, A tier, um, and I will go over the abilities in a moment once I get into the game. Next, we've got uh, Orfiana, who um, is also an A tier um, dicer. And then finally, we've got uh, Saite, who's from the Cube event, who is also an A tier dicer. Now, um, even though they are all eight here, I wouldn't be too disappointed if I didn't unlock the cube event dicer um, or got um, Orphianic either, because while they do have excellent, excellent abilities, um, as many of you know by now, being a D4 dub double dicer is actually a disadvantage um, in most cases. Um, statistically, uh, D4 double dicers roll the least number dice number on average compared to the next best which is the d10 single dicer and then the uh, uh, d6 uh, double dicer but anyways i'm going to go into uh, this game so uh, just give me a moment i'm going to pause it and i will be right back all right guys i'm back so um, i figured that for all of you one of the big questions is what the new dicers are capable of doing and whether they are worth it or not to add to your team so let's go ahead and look at hide first now hide is the dicer that you can acquire from collecting I, i'm assuming 50 memory shards from the doom parrot uh, descent dungeon so this should be um, acquirable easily for all players, including free-to-play players. And he's actually a pretty good dicer. He's a magic user uh, who has chain attack, increases attack by 30% when using bomber attack on next turn, with the full charge ability to increase another 30%. And then enhanced dice, increases two of your d10 dice by three. Very good, I would say, because um, if, if, say, hypothetically, you roll the average die number of five, 
and you have like two d10s you know played in the dice battle you assuming the height has been previously played yeah you turn that from like an average of five to a ten so um, I would say Hyde's ability is very good. You know, anytime you can win a dice battle, especially in late game content, that's gonna gonna really help you. And I find Hyde to be a nice addition to any team where you are finding it finding it tough to jam more than uh, three d6 dicers into your team. And magic users, of course, are always very good. Um, let me see if I can look up the stat his stats. I, I think I have it here. Um, yeah, so, wow, okay, so with him limit broken, he ends up with 5,472 HP, 2,500 attack. That is nuts. So his stats are actually really good, even more than um, Thornet right now, because Thornet limit broken has like 4,600 or something like that. So uh, Hyde, I, I would say, is going to be very good, it may even be... You know, despite being a D4 double dicer, a worthwhile team, a worthwhile dicer on your team, especially if you are free to play. Uh, definitely a must have. Alright, so next we've got um, Saite. Now, Saite is the, um, the cube event uh, dicer, so, um, you know, once again, D4 double, uh, bomber, uh, jack in the box, increases attack by 10% deals chaos to the target for one turn and full charge add chaos for two turns when fully charged now currently no one on lord of dice global knows what chaos means um, sounds pretty good and it would be a mechanic unique to saite um, i kind of wonder if it like disables the opponent or you deal like extra damage or if it's another like damage of extra damage per turn um, and then Halloween Nightmare, destroy one of the opponent's D10 dicers. Very good ability. Um, yeah, I would say Saite is a pretty solid dicer. Um, if, if he was a D6 double dicer, he'd be a must-have um, on any team. But the fact that he is D4 double kind of balances out, you know, between his mechanics and, you know, I mean, like his abilities and... Yeah, everything he has to offer. So, very solid um, dicer, but I wouldn't sweat it too much uh, about acquiring him. Uh, yeah, but I actually really like his artwork. He's pretty awesome, and who knows, maybe Chaos is some broken mechanic that makes you have to have him. Um, we'll see if I can catch some footage of me facing off against someone with him and see how much I suffer. Alright, and finally we have Orfiana. Now, Orfiana, I don't have any friends who currently have her at the moment, so I'll go off of the wiki. Um, now, she, of course, is she is an A tier as well. And, uh, let's see. So, first movement ability, you become immune to all debuffs for one turn. Recover 10% of the total HP if the effect is successful. I find that this would be very um, beneficial in, say, like a uh, raid battle. Which actually makes makes her a S plus tier in a raid battle, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, the ability to ability to heal HP is very handy. Um, battle skill blocks enemies critical at all times. Whoa, okay. And you recover 10% of the total HP if you win. So it's like if you win, you win more by healing HP. And 10% that's a lot, guys. If say you had like 20k HP, that's like what 2000 hp healed or something like that um yeah and then blocks enemies critical so even if you lose i mean you, you don't get critted on so um that's nice um i don't know if she's considered a must-have on your team but uh but pretty pretty respectable you know abilities and um dicer stats are not bad either i unfortunately don't have stats for saite because he is actually not in the Lord of Dice wiki uh, for some odd reason. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't give you the stats on him, but that's okay. All right. So now, let's briefly go over the transcendence. So, if you go to your dicer, and here I'll go to my lineup. So, I have Laura here who I can transcend. 
I actually have a third copy of her, which, you know, if I click, um, uh, where's the copy? Where is my Laura? Oh, uh, there she is. I could use her. She's shaded out because I've locked her so that I don't accidentally consume her. But, uh, yeah, so um, all limit broken dicers can be transcended. Four six star dicers are required as materials. Only one identical dicer can be used as well. So it's an either or. So that's awesome. Now, unfortunately, because keys are no longer farmable, so are farmable, so I'm actually having a difficult time farming for everything because I feel like I spend everything so quick now. My materials, my gold, um, yeah. But so there's two different methods uh, with which you can transcend you can either use memory shards that we've been getting up until this point from logins but haven't used or you can use the traditional memory powder and just spend a premium on the on the gold so i i like it i like how they offer two different ways to transcend and two different currencies for transcendence it kind of rewards you for logging in daily because i think at the moment the only way to acquire these aside from purchasing a package is by um, logging in. Alright, I'm going to briefly go over shop before I go into my most favorite feature which is the island battle. That's going to be lots of fun. So we've got a couple new packages here. Um, so here we've got, so you pay 30 and then um, you get, you know, a standard amount of gems. 4 star summon ticket and 2 star fortifying bean. Now I have no idea what the 2 stars mean. Those mean like 20% success rate or 50% I don't know. It doesn't really specify and I, if I click on it it doesn't tell me. Uh, the package that I think is better is um, this one right here because you get 4 star rune. And runes guys, uh, you have to farm a lot if you want to get him and that's kind of not really an option unless you have like a really strong team and you're not you know, as pressured to uh, rank, uh, to level up your guys. Or awaken your guys rather. Um, six star evolution star and three star fortifying beam. I would say this package is many times more worth it than this one right here. Because this one is for a dicer. Alright, and then we've got the um, boost package, 25 memory shards, super herbs, I have no idea what these do, and then 11,000 gems. Yeah, I don't know what these super herbs do. Um, when I find out for you guys, I'll let you know. Um, I don't see a pressing need for memory shards, because um, chances are you're not going to have that many uh, dicers that to transcend. And it seems like transcending each dicer costs 5. So if you've been playing since the beginning of the game, you should be able to transcend at least 4, four dicers. Alright, on to my favorite part, guys. Island battles. Alright, so... I think this is the coolest feature ever. And this actually makes the island... Makes me pay attention to my island like 10 times more. Oh, I lost! Gosh, okay, so up until this recording, I had 9 wins and 0 losses, but I got my first loss here. Um, so, we go to battle. So when you go into this menu, you have the option to um, create your map. And so the opponent's going to start in the start area here, and then they will kind of move through the map. Now, um, i kind of thinking back on it now. Um, well, this is nice to have them packed together to deal tons of damage, you know. Uh, I think a lot of my dicers are prone to whirlwind on the first turn, so I'm probably going to change that. Um, but uh, anyways, um, if we look at my battle ranking... Yeah, I'm ranked 13, guys. I'm ranked 13. And I think the rank is based on your score, which I don't quite know how it's calculated. But uh, yeah, I'm actually doing pretty well. I, I don't know why this guy is higher than me, but uh, anyways, um, what is cool about this is that you can win in one of two ways. You can either go into battle with someone, or you can defend against someone. Now as you can see, while I was at work, together, at, at work today, I got attacked one, two, three, four, five, six times, and I 
defended all three all six times, which means he wasn't able to defeat my master without dying first. Now I already revenged against these two and got victories there. So um, what you can do is actually you can scout their map. Okay, I think this is doable. I think I can... Ooh. Okay. So, um, initially I was, you know, trying to preserve my record, but uh, you know what? I'm going to revenge against all of these guys. Let's see how well I do. Okay, so, let's go here. Defense. Okay, I got 23 minutes left. Let's go ahead and revenge now. It costs 5k gold, that's like nothing to initiate, to revenge on someone. Now why do you want to revenge? I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I'm sure that revenging somehow doesn't count towards your battle count, we'll see. Okay, so I'm in. Ooh, I don't know why I'm her. Okay, that's fine. Uh, wait, hold on, let, let me go back out for a moment. Oh, okay, never mind, that's that's hers. Okay. I'm gonna redo my map as soon as I'm done recording. Or maybe I'll I'll do it while I'm recording. Um, yeah, but I wanted to get some revenge ba battle footage in, because I think this is a really cool feature. Um, oops. Sorry, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons, guys. Am I even recording? Okay, good, I'm recording. Alright. <laughs> So, go into island. Okay, to battle. Um, okay. You know what, maybe I should do random first. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do one random. Wait, isn't this? Okay, anyways, I'll go ahead and try. So there's a percentage chance that when you clear the enemy, you get a cube. I haven't gotten a cube drop yet. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, and you get you can enter X amount of times, seven times remaining, and you get you get stars. And when you accumulate ten stars, then you can get a free island cube that's automatically open for you. Um, okay, I'm just going to stick with my default lineup, see how I do. Alright, so I'm starting here. So let me see, ooh, that Rumi is really powerful. Hmm, okay, so how should I do this? I could land there. Okay, so I guess I'll do that first. I'm just gonna zoom by these guys, because I just want to take down the boss. Ooh, okay, this guy planned it pretty smart. Okay, I can see why no one has taken him out. Now, if you land on that dicer there, this dicer cannot hit you. Alright, so now we're going to go here. Okay, I hope this map isn't too big. I'm, I'm taking lots of damage here. Whoa, this guy is smart. Okay, I gotta arrange my layout like this. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to keep going. His dicers are pretty strong, so I wouldn't bother trying to defeat them. Ooh, this, I, I might die. Um, let's see, one, two, three. Let's go three first. If I go four, I don't think I can get hit, can I? Let's find out. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I can make it through, guys. This guy has a pretty good map. Pretty good, and I, I like how he put thought into this. And this guy can attack me too, so I'm probably not going to make it alive. Um, so I can go one, two, three, four. I wonder if that sniper can hit me. 
Oh, we can. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think that's game. This is a very well played or planned out map. I'll probably design my map kind of like that. Okay, so I've never lost before. So let's let's see what it looks like. So, uh, yeah, I went down eight ranks. Okay. Oh, sorry to disappoint you guys, but uh, let's see if I can revenge against other people. Um, let's check out this map. Okay, this seems a little more reasonable. Smaller map. Okay. Let's try it. Revenge. Okay, 5k. Alright, let's do this. Cube drop, 39%. I don't know what influences the cube drops, but this seems doable. One thing I will do, though... Oh, interesting. So, you can actually... You can have multiple parties for this. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and construct a party. So, I would prioritize moving really fast through the map with a lot of HP. So, um, she's a heavy hitter. Actually, here, let me, let me do it a little more methodically here. And I think HP is valuable too, so let's go let's add Rumi. She has a ton of HP. Um, and then let's go Serial. Heavy hitter there. Okay, and then I'll go... Let's do Thornich, since she has a lot of HP as well. I feel like piercers are really good in this game. Um, okay, five move. Let's go with low key. And six move, we'll go with Ordeem. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready. Whoa, what happened? Uh, oh, two, three, four. Okay, so I still have one more. Let's see, let's. Why not? Let's. Or. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's have a couple... Well, I don't know. I don't think melees will be good here. So let's just do... Let's do another 5 move. Okay. I think that's pretty good. 18,000 HP. That should keep me alive. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let me plug in my PC one second. Plugged in, let's do this. So, you know, what's the um, incentive behind doing island battles? It's mainly just for fun. Um, I think that depending on how you place each week, you get X amount of island cubes. I'll reveal that in a moment. Actually, okay, and low key will be next. Uh, actually, I'm gonna zoom by all of these guys, should I? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, and then. Hmm, that might be a bad spot. Ooh, knocked him out. And we can whirlwind. Actually, I probably should have just kept going. Okay. Yeah, you don't really gain anything from knocking out everything. Or every dicer, and I don't think you can, actually. You're just trying to... Oh, okay, I'm pretty close. I think I, I, think I got this. Okay, so I'll go here. Nice. Okay, that's 3k HP. Okay, I have an idea. And then I'll whirlwind next. Or... 
be Loki next. So if, assuming I defeat the boss, yeah, and then I move. Okay, yeah, that's a clear. Yeah, so high movement seemed to help a lot. Ooh, I got the cube! Nice, and I went up 15. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and play this start analysis. Okay, so that's another reason why you would want to... Um, want to play this. Okay, so revenge... Yeah, let's do it. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Where's, where's my person? Oh, okay, so I haven't appeared yet. 50% cube drop. Hmm, seems to me that you want to uh, tackle the areas where you have a high cube drop rate. Because you can only battle 10 times a day. Okay, how should I do this? Um, I'm tempted to do some damage to him. Or I could fly by all these guys. That actually seems like a better idea. Alright, we're doing good. Alright, and then I can fly by all these guys. Yeah guys, all you need is high movement and high HP. Alright, so... Hmm. I'm gonna land on Cam. Oh, he can still hit me though. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Keep moving, keep moving. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Let's see again. Try to finish this as quickly as possible. Oh man, taking a lot of damage. Seems like a pretty little win opportunity with Fortnite. Uh, let's try it. Oh wow, sweet. Nice, and I got the cube again. Maybe I'm just getting lucky. Nice. Wow, this is a good way to get cubes. Alright, let's do that again. And I'm recording this too so that I can look back on the map, see which ones gave me trouble. Alright, let's revenge against him. Ooh, this is gonna be easy. Hopefully, maybe. I'm probably going to drop in rank a lot once the pay-to-play players... Oh no, this map is so much harder. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's just fly through this. Yeah, I feel like having a bigger map is better. you can get points by defeating more dicers here. I mean, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see any good reason why you would slow down. You just keep moving real fast. And we're taking lots and lots of damage here. Oh my goodness. Wow! Okay. Um... Yeah, I think that's game. I don't think I can win this. I'll just end it right now. Mm. Yeah, I think there's no escape. I'd go four. No, let's go three. No, I still get hit. Okay, whatever. Yeah, and, and you don't get a reward if you... Okay, 
so my record is starting to get worse. <laughs> yeah, I think at the end of the day I'm probably not going to invest too much time into this, because unless they drop reward you with something that is worthwhile outside of island, otherwise it's just for fun. And I feel like a lot of the island features require gems, and I, I feel like using gems here is not a good use of, of uh, oh wow. Whoa, okay. This guy has a nice setup. Um, Cool, I can still hit from back here. Let's up ahead. Okay. I don't know if I can win. Okay, I haven't taken damage yet, so maybe I have a chance. Yeah, I wish my low key was lunch. I die. Um, unless I try to kill them. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, gosh. Okay. Nope, this is not working out. Alright, well there you have it guys, that kind of was not as fun as I had anticipated. I guess it was fun for me initially because I got 9 straight wins and I was like, man, I could do well on this. On this. So, let's see my battle ranking now. Ooh, I'm 10. Hmm. Okay. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, stay tuned next time for the next, and uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Take care.